Hi everyone, it's meteorologist Terry Swales. What's up in your world? Certainly not the temperatures today. We are now into the mid portions of July, have not had a 90 degree temperature, and we should be fully in the throes of the dog days of summer. But clearly, we are not experiencing any heat or the dog day type weather you would expect with the high humidity levels this time of year. So I'm now officially deeming this as the cat days of summer. And to kick it off, here is a selfie that my cat took. This is Emma Rose Swales, and you can see she's kicking back on a couch, taking in the cool breezes and enjoying this unusually cool summer air. And boy, is it cool out there. Let's take a look at some of the, uh, the reasons why it's so chilly. First of all, here's our storm track. This is obviously a critical ingredient. Got an upper air low sitting over the Great Lakes states. Uh, this is very similar to the polar vortex we experienced back in January. And it is pulling down unseasonably cool air and driving it all the way into the southeastern parts of the U.S. And this morning, under mostly clear skies and high pressure out to the northwest of us, temperatures were well into the 40s over the Dakotas and parts of Minnesota, Faustin, Minnesota, all the way down to 43 degrees for a low temperature this morning. And here's what we're anticipating for lows tonight. And around eastern Iowa and western Illinois, it looks like temperatures have a decent chance of getting back into the upper 40s to lower 50s. If it hadn't been so wet around here in the last several weeks and conditions were drier, uh, there'd be no problem with us getting into the 40s. But as it is, still some residual moisture in the atmosphere. The crops are also at their peak maturity right now, giving off a little moisture too. So I think with the higher dew points, that should keep us pretty close to 50 in most locations. But even so, that should be good enough for record lows. The record low for tomorrow morning is 54 in the Quad Cities, and I think we're going to give that a real good run. I'm going to be surprised if we don't get there. The only thing that would hold us back is if we don't clear out the clouds, but I think that's going to happen. Now we're taking you out to Thursday, and look at the lows that the GFS puts out then. It's got 40s over most of my area, so apparently it is anticipating a couple of things. Number one, the high will be directly over the top of us. The winds will be absolutely light, and I think by then it's anticipating the dry weather we've been experiencing will also dry the ground and the atmosphere out just a little bit. So with slightly lower dew points, it is possible that 40s could be found around here Thursday morning, and that would set some more record low temperatures, not only here, but around many parts of the Midwest. And today, with this cold reservoir of air right over the top of us, the atmosphere is very unstable, which is generating these clouds. And so with the clouds hanging in here pretty tough today, it's going to be real difficult for our temperatures to go up much. And I'm thinking that many locations are going to hold in the 60s. This is something I told you might happen over a week ago, and sure enough, it's playing out about as I expected. Here's a look at the readings as of noon today and many spots only in the low to mid 60s. Very fresh stuff. Once again, here's our 500 millibar chart, and that's why we're getting these cool temperatures. And here's how the temperature anomalies look like around the middle of the country today. All that region there in the greens, whites, and blues is where temperatures will be below normal today, and the core of that chilly air is centered right over the heart of the Midwest. Now, for those of you who like a little summer, Take a look at this chart. This is next Tuesday. We're going out a week here, but a big high pressure ridge is expected to form out over the Rockies, and that's really going to heat things up out to the west of us, and the eastern edge of that heat should make it into eastern Iowa and western Illinois, and there is a chance that we could see our first 90 degree temperature of the year next week. Here's the temperature anomalies that the GFS is showing, and you can see readings are several degrees above normal, and our normal high is about 86 degrees, so that should get us pretty close to 90 next week if the models verify and push this ridge out into the plain states as expected. So if you want some heat and humidity, we do have some of that in our future, but it's not going to happen for several days. Looks like the rest of this week and probably the first half of the upcoming weekend will continue on with temperatures at least 10 degrees below normal, and that's going to mean some very pleasant conditions with some sunshine developing later this week and those temperatures staying in the 70s and virtually no humidity to speak of. That's pretty rare this time of year. As far as rain goes, don't see much of that either. We're going out eight days here on our precipitation forecast, 
And you can see the heaviest amounts are way down to the south in parts of southern Missouri and Oklahoma and Arkansas. They're going to get a good dousing down that way. But up over the Midwest, with the high pressure still pretty much in control, things should remain relatively dry. And that'll be great as our rivers and streams get a chance to recede just a little bit. So some unusually cool weather around the Midwest the next few days. The cat days of summer are with us, and we'll be enjoying those as we head into Friday and Saturday before things warm up for the second half of the weekend. That's your weather briefing for this day. Have yourself an excellent day, and as I always say, roll weather.